There's a little bit of background decoration there. Don't mind it, but today we're here to talk about one of my new favorites, the Benchmade 943. Getting some awesome use in the past few weeks. This is one of Benchmade's best made blades in my opinion. Basically another cousin to the Benchmade 940. Very similar lines with the Osborne design as you can see. Main difference between the 943 and the 940 is this 943 has the enclosed back here instead of the open flow back with the barrel back spacers. Uh, not a bad thing. You got this nice bit of decoration on the inside. Doesn't really count as jimping, but uh, just a nice little piece of flare. Got some bluish tint to them. I can't see where it's held together on the handle. But I'll disassemble it later and see where the heck uh, the metal scales are coming into play unless you have this metal insert for the ball and cage lock mechanism and maybe this handle scale with back aluminum backspacer. It looks like it's all just one solid piece as a housing. So you've got a 3.4 inch blade and just over seven inches or so altogether, you've got a 2.9 ounce blade, which is just absolutely amazing. You, you know, you could just waistband carry it. You could throw this in your beach shorts, running shorts, pajamas, and you can carry it everywhere. So having a full size capable blade with SCPM S30V steel, it's just absolutely awesome. So let's just kind of go over it from, uh, let's go back to front. That's what she said. And uh, so you got your two-way position pocket clip, the correct way, tip up, so left or right side, on these aluminum scales. Starting to show some nice wear. Uh, only thing I would do on the scales is probably just up on the ridge here. I would just add a little piece of skateboard tape here, here, and here, just for a little extra grip. Then one piece here. And I think it would be pretty much perfect. You know, a lot of people may ask if uh, knives or tools with metal handles or scales would be too cold to handle in a Canadian winter, let alone a Yukon winter. Uh, I've never had a problem even dropping folding knives in snow and having them, you know, freeze and lock up or anything. I've never had a problem with that. And I've never had a problem with pocket knives being too cold to handle out in the cold because obviously you'd be wearing gloves. And uh, I'd find that, you know, even just in your pocket, the heat coming from your thigh coming off into the pocket in the pants does actually keep the steel a lot slightly warm, if not just warmer than the ambient temperature, so it stays comfortable. So a nice slim overall design here. Um, not necessarily taking off a point, I just would have liked a little bit more flair at the end of the handle, so you could throw on the lanyard hole, but that's not the end of the world. You've got nice rounding chamfering all around the handle here, so there's no hot spots when you grip it. Got some nice jimping on that little bit of a thumb ramp and some jimping on the forefinger groove as well. Benchmade's gravity defying axis lock mechanism. Sorry, it's a little weak guys. I'll just there do a couple good flicks for you. Sorry, being left-handed. I'm just making myself ambidextrous as much as possible with all my different folders. But uh, yeah, S30V blade, no complaints about that. It's the pretty much the bread and butter of the knife steel industry, of the knife industry for steel. Um, I could totally see it getting cheaper and being used into budget folders within the next 10 years at some point. And then the next S30V will be the next, will essentially be like LMAX or 20CV or XHP or something like that for more of the super steels. Uh, it carries nice and slim when folded in the pocket. 
deep carry pocket clip, it just completely disappears. I would add a piece of skateboard tape to the pocket clip. So, because without a lanyard, not a lot to grab onto, so you could actually basically just pinch it. You'd have a much more secure grip, and then you could draw it out. You've got a nice amount of space for the between the thumb stud and the handle junction area. So you just give one nice pop, and that smooth access lock just swings open. And next, kind of the pivot blade junction area. The blade has a really nice starting choil for all you guys that are concerned about that. Blade does come perfectly centered. And I really like how they did this kind of boomerang triangle shape. Have the termination and then start the blade and then the thumb stud there. So that left basically a perfect amount of room for having enough space of the thumb stud to stick out to swing open comfortably. And there's not too much blade back here at all, no blade at all, so that there's nothing, you know, in the cutting path of the blade in a folder when you're cutting down on it. So I think this was done really well. Uh, I really like this long clipped toothpick Bowie style shape. Uh, it's just an excellent slicer and piercer all together. There's absolutely no complaints. I don't think it's too weak for the blade shape. I mean, you're never going to pry with it or use it as a screwdriver or anything. It shouldn't, shouldn't be with your folder. Sorry there, I knocked my stand back a little. But, uh... You got that reinforcement of the Ricasso going all the way to the tip. Come on, focus. Anyway, you get the drift, so you can see that. There we go. And you've got over halfway of the swedge, so I'd say about two and a half, three inches of swedge right there going to that tip, but does leave quite a decent amount of meat for how slim and sly this blade is. So overall, hits all the right notes. It really excites me when the blade is just so fun and easy to carry, especially around the house too. Oh, how about that detent? Let's just check that. No problem. In fact, the detent is strong enough that I you're, you actually have kind of a bit of trouble trying to reverse flick it open because there's not a whole lot to grab onto on the handle. For a lot of guys, it may be a bit small, especially if you have those XL or XXXL hands. For me, I've got these long skinny fingers that are really great at gripping, so it's perfectly fine. But I would say that a, a paramilitary too if you just want a much more beefy knife to grab onto, it would be a better choice. You know, it's only about half an ounce heavier for a bigger blade and quite a meatier handle as well. And that's about it. I can't say too much more about this blade. I would just like a lanyard hole. That would be nice. And if it's a big concern, you might want to go with the 9... 40 for that open back space. Another benefit about such a light blade is being able to carry it in pajamas, being 2.9 ounces. Excellent around the house carry. That's one of the bold stars of having full size and also lightweight blades. 3 ounces or less in this case, 2.9. You can easily inside a waistband carry it, throw it in a pair of pajama pockets, and you're good.